It's the end of a 9,000-mile journey from China to Gibraltar, but the beginning of the next chapter in The Rock's post-Brexit history. Great faith brings with it much hope, hope for a new residential care home and hope for a new era of construction. A hulking 180-metre by 32-metre vessel, she was eased alongside the main wharf where jib dock staff were waiting. After over a month out at sea, the Great Faith has finally arrived in Gibraltar. On her deck and below in her cargo hold, over 200 containers with those prefabricated units destined for the Rook site. The Minister for Financial Stability says this offers the perfect post-Brexit construction solution. In about six months' time, these units will become a 10-storey elderly residential home at the Rook site and it could become a blueprint for future projects. It's a big operation for us, it's a government operation. Obviously they asked us at the last minute if we could help uh, with the offloading of these containers. Fantastic thing that's happening here, you know, a new care home, an elderly care home for Gibraltar that we're, you know, we were proud and happy to help. So we're going to be offloading, well not us, we're going to have the containers offloading here that we transported through the town over to the Rook site and uh, you know, we should see pretty quickly our care home pop up there. Although not usually an unloading dock, the yard has all the facilities needed to get the goods from ship to shore. Using the ship's cranes themselves, so we're going to have the, the ships unloading them onto the trucks and then we'll be convoying the trucks through the, uh, through the night. We're going to try and curtail the noise as much as we can to the daylight hours. There's obviously safety considerations about when we can offload and when we can't offload. Um, but, you know, the noise, uh, I think you saw in the Sir Joe Bassano interview earlier on, there will be some noise. Um, it's, you know, it's what's going to happen. The government have decided this has got to happen so we will uh, minimize as much as we can we'll try and keep the truck movements the people movements and the grinding as quiet and as uh, frequent and infrequent as possible jib docks ties to the rock are strong and whilst its history stretches back over a hundred years balena propco which took over the lease last year believes the future is equally as promising we build offshore platforms renewably powered that provide fresh water and sewage treatment and the likes for islands and coastal locations that's our core business and one of the principal reasons that we bought the yard is to allow us to build those uh, new devices here. So you'll start to see that coming on stream in the next 12 to 24 months. Between now and then, we hope to see a lot more grey ships. So encouraging the Royal Navy to come back here and do what this dockyard was built for, looking after grey ships and, of course, our traditional customer base of the commercial ferries, etc. It certainly feels like a new lease of life for the dockyard, as well as a new, out-of-the-box, post-Brexit way of doing things. The journey for these containers isn't over yet. They'll be loaded nightly onto 12 lorries and taken to Rook, where they'll form the building blocks for the new elderly residential home.